Hello everyone, welcome to see to draw. This is the first time I am doing a voiceover on my painting, so please bear with me. Also, I am really sorry that I cannot able to show you guys a little bit of the earlier footage. It had some issues, so I wasn't able to include it in the video. All that aside, let's get to the painting. I started painting this bird in little sections, first on its head and then on its body. I paint in mixed techniques. Sometimes I paint from light to dark, other times I go from dark to light, as you will see further in the video. So here I am, first adding the layers of different colors on the body of the bird. You can see that I am making brush strokes in the direction of the little hair. After applying the paint, I clean my brush with water and then use it to soft the hard edges of the paint and to blend it properly. Now adding the little details, again you have to make these strokes according to the reference with which you are working. The main thing which you will see me doing is going over and over on these details because these layers add a realistic effect in the painting. Also, I am using normal drawing paper instead of the watercolor paper which will give you more room to add details. Also, that paper can handle more layers of paint and water in comparison to the normal drawing paper. Another technique which you will see me using much in this painting is glazing. By practicing watercolor medium for a long time, I found that glazing is the technique which will give your painting realistic look as well as it creates that realistic effect without the need of many layers of paint. So you can achieve that effect on the normal drawing paper also. Guys, the thing is no matter what situation comes, either you didn't have good art materials or you are not achieving the desired results, never stop painting. Because the thoughts which come in your mind at that time are just temporary and you will feel normal after some time or the next day or after a few days. So never let those thoughts make you feel that you cannot paint. As I told you guys before, here on the wing of the bird, I started working from dark to light. Another important thing which you will always need to keep in mind is that never zoom your reference picture too much. Because you did not need to make all those small details to make your subject look realistic. Zoom only according to the size of your painting. Because if you have a clear reference image then working on those very little details is really tempting. And can ruin your painting if you have drawn a small picture to work with. As you can see, I am using glazing in this part. Glazing according to my experience is simply used to adjust the tonal value of the painting. Like if you feel that some important part of your painting needs to be more darkened or need a different color. And you have already put details in that area then you can use glazing to achieve those results without ruining your details. Just clean your brush, dry it and then take a little bit of paint on its tip and use it on the desired section of the painting. Always note that the paint or brush should not contain a lot of water 
because that can ruin your other layers. Just make it a little damp so that the brush can flow on the paper. Never scare from experimenting while painting because the more you use different methods, the more you can learn from them and can gain experience. While painting, there is no rule that you strictly have to follow. Always enjoy the process of painting. If you want to put dark layers of paint after just your first layer, you can do it. Also by doing that, you can see which areas needed middle tones more. And then when you work on those middle tones, you will find that your dark tones needed to be more darkened. This is the beauty of experimenting and painting which can help you achieve great tonal values in your painting. Also, it depends on you, but in my works, I mostly put details more onto the main subject in comparison to the other things present in a reference picture to keep the eye of the viewer towards the main subject. As you can see here on this branch, I am only adding the colors which are present in different areas and not making every detail present on that branch. So I hope you guys liked my painting. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also if you liked my content and want to support my art further or want to paint with me in real time you can join me on Patreon where you can get real time watercolor tutorials and more amazing rewards for as little as a dollar per month. The link to my Patreon as well as my other social media accounts is in the description below. I will see you all soon in another video. See ya.